one of the most difficult things and the most undervalued things that we do as practitioners is diagnosis. In other words, we spend all this time in school, all this time in study to learn how to diagnose, but it's truly the most undervalued thing we do because let's say we uh, perform a very thorough exam, we diagnose a problem, and then we want to charge for it. Uh, people will often say, well, you, you didn't really do anything, and so um, it becomes uh, kind of frustrating at times, but it is probably the most important thing that we can do. Let's just take, for example, this case I saw not too long ago. This is kind of, a, if you will, the after picture. Uh, this young lady presented to me with pain in her left masseter area. It was referred from the orthodontist because of limited jaw opening and pain in that area. And so uh, we obviously would want to image uh, with panoramic imaging is usually what I choose to do. We image the area first, and this is what we saw. So sometimes these pains that are, are sent to your office or come to your office, they say, you know, this is a temporomandibular joint disorder, this is a, a myogenous or muscle disorder, it can be deceptive. And so it's be, be, uh, incumbent upon us to uh, do a really thorough physical ex uh, evaluation and uh, come up with the appropriate diagnosis. In order to effectively treat a facial pain patient, we have to develop in our practice model a very systematic approach to examination, and, and that's got to be part of our diagnostic process. We have to develop these, these systems in which we go through the same steps every time. In other words, every single patient I see that's referred to me, we go through the exact same diagnosis. Even if I think that I know what's going on, we'll go through the same process. 